Records. Wow, why really is a master in setting up new records. This time it's the Ascent P2 and it shall be the fastest smartphone of the world. This is how it's looking like and it's because fast is because of um, let me see, see like this one. Okay, here we go. Because of wireless LAN up to 520 megabit per second and because of LTE CAT4, that new standard with up to 150 megabit per second. And as you might see, this is just a new UI and especially you can use it with a glove as you can see with us because we're in Barcelona and it's warm so I don't have gloves with me but as you can imagine this will work in the winter too. Um, the new things, uh, especially because of the uh, design, it's very slim, it's 8.4 millimeters thin and as you might remember from the first P1, this is what they call the infinity display that's moving around but there's no display on this, it's just, just um, the surface that's looking like uh, as if it's going um, over there. And as you see over here, the um, home screen has changed a little. Or oh, what means a little? It changed a lot. Because not of those animation, it's because of you don't have a menu with your apps anymore. As you see down here, there's no um, icon for that, just for the normal settings as you know it by Android. By the way, this is Android 4.1.2. And the special new thing uh, with this um, um, Emotion UI, how um, Huawei is calling it, is this one over here. This is where your apps are right now, in those folders, they call it easy folders. And because of that, um, not more than 60 icons in one folder, like those over here. These are the Google apps, as you can see, and you can't scroll up or down or whatever. It's just one folder, maximum 16 icons, and so that's why you have more folders on that um, home screen over here. These for management and these for tools. Well, tools. This, this touch screen doesn't like me, as it seems, but that might be a bit because it's uh, very cold over here. And my fingers are a little bit too cold for that. I don't know. But as you can see, you have those um, folders and that's a, a big change, I guess, for most people. Especially because you have to look or to remind which icons you place where. You can, of course, change everything over here, but you have to remind which uh, functions are where. And if you're used to have one big folder with your menu and all your apps alphabetically sorted, so this is a big change for that. Uh, the other change is this here over this big new um, widget with what's called um, Me Widget. The Me Widget um, coming um, uh, as you can see with clock and weather and whatever you want. And of course, it's customizable. Uh, this is like over here. You can put whatever you want into this uh, and change everything. Uh, so you have um, more information with your first look over here. And from up there, you can switch to profiles. Some uh, people might know those profiles from Nokia, uh, but not that uh, that sexy like this over here. So you can choose this one and say, okay, this is uh, what I use uh, right now. In those, um, let me go to those uh, profiles, because these are uh, not only, um, you can have more um, audio settings than this one that um, just uh, Android is giving you um, over here. And the other thing I wanted to show are these themes. Come on. Okay, here we go. Now it's um, a lot of customizable um, uh, pre-installed uh, things you can uh, switch to whatever you want and have a completely new style including especially because you can customize those too uh, including ringtones as you see alarm tones you can customize and save as much as you want to uh, and now as, uh, on that way switch with one click between those themes uh, and have a totally new look for all of the phone, including those, um, those uh, audio styles.
Yeah. Uh, the other thing is uh, that it's uh, a 13 megapixels camera over here doing video in full HD with HDR and everything you want to. And the um, uh, battery that's inside uh, shall have 2420 milliampere hours. So it seems to be a really big um, battery for a 4.7 inch screen. Uh, for comparison, the HTC One just has uh, 2,300 milliampere hours. So it's uh, just a little bit bigger than this. And that screen has um, 315 ppi. And as you, I hope you can see, because we are, um, as you can see here, we are in the free um, area uh, here in Barcelona. And uh, luckily it's uh, sunny. And as you can see, we have those reflections like always. But uh, I hope you can see or believe me that the viewing angle, uh, regardless of those, uh, uh, those uh, um, sparkling over here, uh, just uh, the viewing angle is really great and it's really a brilliant and sharp, uh, good to look um, screen. But nevertheless, uh, like on all smartphones, you have that problem with this um, mirrors. Okay, that's, um, I hope, enough for the first uh, impression of the um, Huawei Ascent P2. And it will come globally in Q2 this year for 399 euros without any contract.